Hey everyone, this is Mr. Z and welcome to this AutoCAD 2018 tutorial on how to design a basketball. Let's get started. First, let's make sure we're in the correct workspace by clicking on our workspace switching option and making sure we're on the 3D modeling one. After you've done that, we're going to draw out a circle, C-I-R, enter. And this circle is going to have a radius of 14.75 inches, enter. And that's because a standard size 7 basketball in the U.S. is 29.5. So now that's the correct dimensions. And then we're going to draw a rectangle. So I pressed escape twice, then REC for rectangle, enter. And starting from the bottom, I'm going to draw a rectangle of width 0.75. Then I'm going to press tab on the keyboard. And the height is going to be 40, enter. So it's going to look something like that. I'm going to press escape twice, click on the circle, then click on the center of the circle and move it over to the center of the rectangle. I'm going to use the copy command, enter, to select the rectangle, enter, and I'm going to move it over to here just for a second. Since I have that free form movement right now, I'm just going to turn on my ortho mode so I can just drop it into place. Press escape twice and then use the rotate command, enter, select that, enter, and starting from the center, I'm just going to rotate that Let's go ahead and say 90 degrees. So I'm going to type in 90 and press enter, and then that should move it like so. Then I'm going to use the move command, move, enter, select the object, enter, and click at the center, and move that to the center of the basketball like that. Then we're going to create two more circles. So CIR, enter. We're going to draw one circle of diameter 12, and then enter, and one circle at the center of diameter 12.75, enter. I'm going to press escape twice, then use the move command, MOV, enter, to select both of these, enter. And starting at the top, I'm going to move it down over to this line over here. So I'm going to click once there, press escape once, and then enter again to reactivate the move tool. Select both of those, enter, and I'm going to move it from here, just downward a total of 2.5 inches. So I'm going to say 2.5, enter and that should have hopefully moved that in place. Once you got one in place, we're gonna use the mirror command, M-I-R, enter, to select both of these, enter, and we're just gonna mirror it on this middle point there. So I'm gonna go out like that, click, and not erase the source object. So I'm gonna press no for that, and we're left with this shape over here. Now we can draw the sphere. So S-P-H for sphere, enter, and starting at the center, I'm going to draw a sphere of, once again, 14.75 inches, the radius of the basketball. Once that is in place, I'm going to switch my view from the top view to a southwest isometric. So it looks like that. And I'm going to use the move tool, so M-O-V, enter. I'm going to select these two circles, this rectangle, those two circles, and this rectangle there. I'm going to press enter and I'm gonna move it from the center point up vertically to the top of the sphere, like so. I'm gonna press it down once, press escape twice, and then use the extrude command, enter, to select these objects, all of them. And press enter again, and I'm gonna run this through the basketball like that, okay? I'm gonna press escape twice. Then I'm gonna use the subtract command, S-U-B for subtract enter, and I'm going to subtract from the big opening, enter the smaller one, enter, so that should have cut that out, and then I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to press escape twice, use the subtract command, enter, and subtract the big one, enter, from the small one, enter, and then if I just switch this from 2D wireframe over to shaded, you should notice that those have been nicely cut out, and then lastly, I'm going to turn this back over to 2D wireframe, and I'm going to, once again, subtract, so SUB, enter, and I'm gonna subtract from the sphere this time, enter, pretty much everything else. So these three, as well as that, enter, okay? So if I switch that now over to shaded, you're gonna see that I have that nice shape of the basketball. I also have an additional line there, which we can, well, we'll, we'll keep for now, but we'll delete right after. Okay, and now we're going to create the interior. So I'm going to go ahead, press escape twice, and draw out another sphere. Enter. 
and this is going to be at the center once again and this sphere is going to have a diameter of 14.6 so just slightly less than the first one enter so you can kind of tell that there's a slight variation in the two shapes then for that interior layer we're going to kind of zoom in i'm going to click on it right click on it and go over to properties over where it says color i'm going to click there click on the arrow select color and i'm just going to associate that with black press ok and then close out of this okay and for the outer layer i'm going to go ahead press mat for my material browser press enter and i'm going to create a new material by clicking on the plus here and this might be a little hard to see i think that's slightly off my screen so i'm going to move it up okay uh, but at the very bottom of this list there's an option that says new generic material you're going to want to click on that it's going to open up this and then you got to do an image search for it and i've linked the image into the description so you could save it somewhere and then double click it on there okay so we have the image in place so i'm going to go ahead and close out of that close out of this and i'm going to click hold it and i'm going to drag it over to the basketball and i'm going to let it go on the basketball now the basketball is going to look really cool but it's not going to match the color so let me go ahead first delete this line here okay and that actually does look like really cool but that's not exactly what we're going for. I'm gonna press the X here, go over to the Visualize tab, and I'm gonna switch my Materials On, Textures Off, to Materials slash Textures On, okay? And if you do that and you zoom in, you're gonna notice that your basketball now has those indents in place, okay? And there you go. That is one basketball. So that's gonna go ahead and conclude this video tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful on how to create a basketball. And if you have any questions, feel free to let you know. Otherwise, Mr. Z, signing out. Peace.